It's tough to lose someone that you've been working with for so long and you started out as friends and we always were friends, we were brothers basically, that's what we always said. It was very sudden and very uh, unexpected for everyone and uh, so yeah, from one moment to the next basically, I mean, we're here to talk about this album, we were in the middle of writing this album coming up with all kinds of ideas and, and then all of a sudden it's all not important at all. The writing of this album uh, became especially important after a while because of that, because it was the, the last album that we did together. I had three tracks of his that were ideas, sketches, uh, where I had his stems and, and, and those I finished. In the beginning it was all, uh, I need to sort of bring them to the end and not touch them as, mu as much as possible, just leave them as they are because that's sort of the, the last music that Daniel wrote. If you're a partnership you can only be true to the other person also when you give part of yourself. If you, uh, if you try to stay off as, as much as possible, then that's no real partnership. In a partnership, in a friendship, in a composer relationship, yeah, you need to be honest about what you like, honest about what you don't like, and you touch somebody else's work, uh, it will get infused with your ideas. It's the last one we did together, so of course I wanted to honor him like this and, and, and deliver something that I'm really, really happy with that it took another few months like this. What was really important with Signals was to find a common sound. When you consider how all the different tracks get put together from all over the place. But in the end they sound like, uh, like one in a way. The classical instrumentation, the strings, the pianos, they're the fabric, the emotion, the melodramatic side of it. And the electronics brings sort of the future, the pulse that you hopefully get to experience from the synthesizers. <laughs> 